To download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.20 or later, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to download the 1.20 file so we can forge onto Minecraft. To do this, you want to open up your Minecraft launcher and you want to select the release drop down menu and make sure you're on 1.20. From here, you want to click on play. So now the game has loaded, this means the files have been installed to our computer. So we can go ahead and quit the game and move on to the next step. So to download Forge, we need to go to our web browser and you want to go to this link here and I'll leave a link in the description. Once you're here, you'll see Minecraft version's drop down menu on the left hand side of the screen. You just want to select the 1.20 version and then select the 1.20 drop down menu and here it will bring you to the 1.20 download. From here you just want to click on the installer button. After 5 seconds the skip button will appear in the top right hand corner so you want to click on skip. And then you want to go ahead and save the installer to your computer and in this case I'm going to use my desktop. So now we've got Forge downloaded to our computer we just need to install it. To do this you want to right click on the Forge installer, hover over open with and you want to open it with the Java platform. If you don't see this, you want to click on choose another app, and then you want to select the Java platform from the list of applications here. If you still don't see this, it means you need to install Java to your computer, and I'll leave a video link in the description below. From here, you want to click on always, and after a few seconds, the Forge installer will open up. So installing Forge is very simple. First thing we need to do is to make sure we're on the correct Minecraft version, which is 1.20, and then you want to install either the client or the server version of Forge. In this case, we're using client. You then want to make sure your Minecraft installation is correct, in this case it is, and then you want to click on OK. Now this will take a few seconds to install Forge, and once it's done you will get a pop-up box. So as you can see Forge has been completed, so all we need to do is click on OK, and now we can move on to the next step. So now Forge has been installed to Minecraft, we just need to go ahead and install some Forge mods. So to do this you want to go to your web browser, and you want to find a Forge mod you want to install. In this case I'm going to use just enough items. So to install this mod you want to click on the files tab here just at the very top and then you want to find the game version you want to download it for. Now in this case we want to download it for 1.20 but as of making this video there are no mods that are compatible with 1.20 as it's only just updated. So in this case we're going to take this 119.4 as an example. So you want to click on that version and then you want to click on the download button. So after 5 seconds the download should begin and again we're just going to go ahead and download the mod to our desktop. So now we've downloaded our mods, we just need to install them. So to do this you want to right click on your windows icon and you want to select the run command. And from here you just want to type in percent outdated percent just like this and click on ok. Your file explorer should open up. From here you want to go into your .minecraft installation folder. And here we just need to create a new folder. To do this you want to click on new and then select folder. And we'll need to rename this folder and call it mods. Once we've created this folder you want to go inside of the folder. Now we just need to drag and drop our mods that we've downloaded into this mods folder. And this way you're going to drag and drop all of your future mods. So once you've done this you can exit out of your file explorer and we can move on to the next step. So to run Minecraft with our Forge mods all we need to do is open up our Minecraft launcher. Then we want to select the version drop down menu and you want to select the Forge profile. If you don't see this you may need to restart your launcher. From here you want to click on play. Click on I understand the risks and click on play. So once Minecraft has loaded up, you know it's worked because you get the Forge notification in the bottom left along with how many mods you've loaded. You'll also see this new mods button and if we click into this you'll see a list of all of the mods you've installed. Now the reason why I don't see the mods that I installed earlier is because it's for the wrong version so I did have to remove it from the mods folder. So once you're happy you want to click on done and you can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with your Forge mods just as you normally would. And that is how you install Forge for Minecraft 1.20 or later. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well and if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.